Hey everyone, welcome back to the Node Concept. This is SD and with me Shubham from Blender File and we are back after a pretty long time, like six or seven months, I guess. I don't know. We are really busy. I don't know. It's lots of work going on around here and in the meantime Raj Krishnan goes from Blender File. He took over and now he's busy again and I am free. We two are free for like five days I guess. So we'll try to use uh, the max of it to make uh, the videos you need to complete the node concept. So today we have is the vector mat and yeah this is a very what do you call that theory kind of thing yeah theory based uh, node so we need to go a lot into paint and back to blender. All right so let's get started uh, open up blender and select default view I already have this uh, thing over here let's just make that. Right, let's just delete everything, let's just add in a converter and vector mat. Alright, so that's that's the last node in converter. It was left for the future because it has vector things. So now as we have started vectors, we'll be uh, going for it. We have done the mapping node, I guess. Yeah, we have done the mapping and next comes is the vector mat. Alright. So, uh, once we add uh, the vector mat now, you'll see there are three inputs, not inputs, two inputs and one operation and it gives a vector output and a value output, right? So, uh, firstly the value output will go through uh, dot product. Now, uh, the vectors will uh, use, you know, it it gives, it takes input but will use uh, the default value. So, we'll just set it to uh, something like one for now and another for x i'll take one. Oh wait a sec a sec a sec did i just say we'll just make them zero and one for the x now uh, the first one is x and second one is y and last one is the z coordinate right so uh, i'll just make that one and i'll just make that one as well so what the dot product does is it gives the scalar output of the input uh, of the vectors which are in here so uh now getting into math. <laughs> so uh, in math, a vector is represented by i, j, and k, right? So with a vector cap over there. Which, which, um, which over there. Now uh, i represents the x, j represents the y, and uh, k represents the z. Now uh, when we uh, talking about dot product, you know, big dot d o t, right? I need to use a graphic tablet, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, so uh, when <laughs> talking about the dot product, uh, I can only get multiplied with i, and j can get multiplied with j, and k will get multiplied with k. And uh, anything else, like this into this with 0, this into this 0, this into that 0, this into that 0, everything else is 0, right? So only I can get multiplied with I and we'll get is a scalar input. So for example, if you multiply uh, dot product uh, 2i and 3i, you'll get uh, the answer to be 6. And we're not talking about the direction, just talks about the scalar quantity. So that's what dot product does. So uh, in this case, if we uh, see the dot product of 1 into 1, we'll get white color, pure white. It's too much bright I guess. I know. Right now, uh, if you see, like, if you're multiplying one with uh, a y-axis of one, we'll get zero black color, right? So that's what the thing is. And actually, you know, it's not multiplying one with uh, this one. It's multiplying one with this zero. So x is multiplying, getting multiplied with x, and as this zero, we are getting a result of zero. If you change that value to something like uh, point two or something, you will get is a gray color. So one into any smaller number than one, that color will be get will be getting it. one into any number for that matter. It doesn't matter that much. All right. So that's uh, what the dot product is. Next, we'll uh, go to add. Now, let's just have to add. Now it's a vector. What it does is it adds the vector. Now uh, the way um, vectors are added in here is. Oh, wait, wait. All right. So uh, the way vectors are added is uh, I, you know, the x-axis that is the i coordinate gets added to itself, and y gets added to y, and z gets added to z. So, uh, for example, if you have a vector two i and three i, so the sum will be equal to five i. 
Now if you have a vector which is uh, in a different direction than only x, so for example, uh, this is our graph and we have a vector like this. So it has a x component and a y component, right? So these two are added to get the result of this. So for example, if you have uh, something like 2i plus 3j and you have something like 5i plus 4j. So the resultant vector of them will be something like uh, 7i plus 7j. So that's the thing, and that will be represented. Uh, that will be represented in Blender with a color, which you know uh, the way the colors are denoted. So the x is denoted by red, y is by green, and z by blue. You can see these three arrows over here, right? So if we add the vectors now, you will see. This is uh, 1i plus 0i, which is 1i, and then there is 0i plus 1y, oh, 0j plus 1j. So it gives like a uh, red color plus green color, and if you see the color wheel over here, you'll see uh, this is, uh, the resultant of uh, complete red and complete green gives you yellow. So that's the resultant. So this is how add is working. So you can just always keep experimenting with them. I'll just change the values and like. Uh, from 1 to click, it's just lagging a bit, uh, 0.3, and 0.1 maybe, and point, uh, maybe 4, and then I'll go over here with 0.1, and I'll just keep this 0.5, and I'll go with 0.1 over here, and you can see is a slight hint of green color, something like, I don't know, uh, maybe this color which is this color oh over here <laughs> that's the resultant of the three vectors <laughs> so you can see that's how addition works similarly uh, subtraction also works so I'll just make them zero and I just made them ten <laughs> <laughs> all right I'll just make them uh, back to whatever they were uh, zero <laughs> come on <mate. laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's how addition works. Next, we will move on to subtraction, and this one over here. So it subtracts. Now it's same. So like two i plus three uh, j minus sine five. It'll give you something like minus three i. What's that? Eraser. <laughs> So it gives you minus 3i and minus 1j. So I'm just going to do minus 1j. So that how, that's how it works, right? So um, back to Blender. <laughs> so we are subtracting 1 and minus 0. So it gives red color. It doesn't change anything. And from 0 to subtracting minus 1. Now, uh, in Blender, below uh, any negative value will give you a black color, so we don't see an effect over here, right? So if I make this something like uh, 2 minus 1, you'll see the same color which we got in add, right? Adding 1 and 1x one and 1y, one something like that, right? So that's uh, how subtraction works. Same thing as addition, right? Next, we want to uh, average. What it does is it uh, adds them up and divides it by two because we have only two vector inputs, something like that, right? So, for example, if you have uh, one over here and one oh, zero over here, uh, zero over there, right? So we got i you go zero, right? So we have this yellow over here, and if we change that to add, you'll see it's a brighter shade of yellow. So the value over here changes. So if you see, uh, I'll just show you. See this color, this has a value of 1, right? And if we make that average, and now if we pick on the color over here, you'll see the value is very uh, slightly low, lower than that, right? So that's the average of them. That is what average is doing. It's taking out the average of the vectors, which are uh, you know, given input over here. Next is uh, the dot product. We have done it already. And then the cross product. Now this one is one interesting thing over here, right? So uh, the way cross product works is uh, can't be shown 
actually the main thing. Oh, no. Let's just say I uh, will take a red axis. Oops. Uh, let's just say this is our x axis. Then we have our green colored y axis over here, right? And then we have a blue colored uh, z axis coming in this way, right? So yeah, this is kind of the xz plane, xy plane, and yx plane, right? Now, uh, the way cross product works is you multiply uh, i with uh, j and you'll get k, right? So it's multiplying two directions and getting a direction which is perpendicular to the initial vectors, right? So if we multiply j with k, we'll get i. And if we multiply k with i, we'll get uh, j. Right, so that's how it works. Now, if you multiply it in the reverse order, we'll get minus value. So j into i will give you minus k, k into j will give you minus i, and i into k will give you minus j. And in Blender, we will try to avoid uh, the negative values because it, because it will get give us a black color, right? So similarly, if you see you know a vector in this plane and it's having a cross product with uh, this vector, then we have a perpendicular, you know, the resultant will be in this direction, perpendicular to the y axis. Oh, perpendicular to the x z plane and parallel to the y axis. So we we'll can we can show you over here, right? So uh, this is one on the x and this is one on the y, and the resultant is a blue color. Oops, blue color, which is you know denoting the z axis. So you can. Play around with that now. Now, if I multiply this with uh, one and zero, and this I'll make one, and this I'll make zero, you will see the green color over here. Oops. Ah, the red color over here because y and y into x is giving you y into z will give you x. Sorry, <laughs> really, it's a bit confusing. You can you'll get the hang of it over time, right? So that is how the cross product is working. If you have multiple numbers. And then it will give you multi multi direction. No, it will give you the perpendicular to that plane. So you can see the difference of the color, the change in the color. You know, I don't know which color is that. Something, some direction. Mm -hmm. You can study them for years, and you'll get the idea how it is working. Right. Next is uh, a drink of water. All right. So next is the normalize option and if you press normalize and if you press shift z it only takes a uh, consideration of the first vector it doesn't take anything of the second vector it doesn't care about the second vector input so it can leave it whatever it is i'll just make it zero anyways all right now uh the thing it does is it makes the magnitude one so if i uh, if i have a value of point 0.1 over here you will see the same red color as uh, the magnitude of point 0.9 so that's the thing, it just, you know, makes the magnitude 1. It, whatever value put in here, it will make it 1. Just the thing. Now, if you have multiple inputs, it will, you know, it will give you the direction uh, with a magnitude 1. So it's like giving you a unit vector. So that's the thing. Now, uh, in this case, you can go with a value of greater than 1 because, you know, it will try to clamp it. And, you know, it's actually doing its magic and uh, if you see uh, the blue vector has a really high number so that's why a uh, blue vector is dominating over the red and the green so that's why the resultant is pretty much towards the blue axis or the z axis so that's how the normalized thing is working so i guess you got the gist of what this vector math node does so uh I have yet not found a practical use of it, you know. Uh, I once thought that this can be used for, you know, uh, combining these bump nodes. We'll be doing the bump nodes very soon. These tutorials are coming. We'll just hang on. <laughs> we are doing it at our fastest speed. We need to finish. You know, we are running really behind time. Anyway, but it didn't work. We just used the mix color node over there and it just works right so i don't know if you know uh, how where to use these nodes do tell us in the comments we'll be glad to know about it and we'll 
we might show you uh, a demo of that in our future tutorial. So, uh, that's it for our vector math node. And I guess you learned something from here. If you have any queries or suggestions, you can write that in the comment section. And we, you can follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash blendfile. And subscribe to stay tuned with our future tutorials on the node concept. So, till then, happy blending and see ya.